Hello YouTubers, this is Roxanne and thank you for joining my Ghost Box session. In this session I attempted to contact YouTube celebrity Charles Green, better known as Angry Grandpa. So many of my subscribers love this man and I had to check him out for myself and I can completely see why. He and his son Michael were bonkers funny. I wish I had been able to meet him in real life. Of course, I cannot be certain I made contact, but I did get some great messages coming through. Let me know what you think. Before we begin, however, I need to give a disclaimer. To all internet trolls, this is my channel where I share my study of the paranormal. The thumbnail clearly says ghost box session, so you know what you're clicking on. There's no trickery. Before you take time to throw out your hatefulness and belittling comments, go back and find a different hobby. You and your negative comments will be hidden from my channel. Number 1. Wear earbuds or headphones, because when taking out the static of the ghost box, some of the voices are shaved. Number 2. I do not claim to reach the people I'm trying to contact, because there's no way of knowing for certain. Number 3. I cannot hear what is being said from the ghost box until I take out the noise, so I do not know what is said until I listen with my headphones. Hence, the conversation sounds one-sided. And finally, number 4. I do give plenty of time for responses. However, I cut out long spaces of silence so my listeners do not have to listen to dead space. No pun intended. Thank you again, and here is my session. If you'd like to see more of Charles Green, aka Angry Grandpa, check out the link to the Angry Grandpa show below. I'm about to start my ghost box session uh, to try to reach Angry Grandpa, who is uh, also known as Charles Marvin Green Jr. Grandpa was a uh, YouTube personality, a YouTube celebrity. His uh, YouTube channel was created by his son, Michael. Uh, who uh, orchestrated and put together the videos, uh, hilarious videos. You could tell that it was a, a great family with a lot of love. And uh, I'm going to reach out to see if I can possibly make contact with uh, Charles. And uh, I have been meditating on this. I've been binge watching some of his videos to try to uh, you know, make that connection. And I hope uh, he's picking up on my energy and uh, he feels that it's okay to, uh, to reach back out to us and uh, let us know how he's doing. Uh, let's see, I'm going to be using the S-Box Ghost Scanner, so we'll get that started. I'm really nervous about this because uh, I'm hoping very much to be able to reach him. And I, I want to be as respectful as, you know, I possibly can. I don't... Uh, and I don't want to be disrespectful to him if he's if he's resting, but at the same time, I've gotten so many requests to try to reach him, and uh, so that lets us know, you know, his fan base is still going strong, and hopefully he'll understand that and he'll reach out to us and at least give us a few words. Uh, at least we can get a statement or something that uh, lets us know that we've made uh, the connection to him. Well, I'm going to get this started. And uh, then we'll see what we'll see if uh, Angry Grandpa will talk to us. S box scanning FM. I'm trying to reach Angry Grandpa Charles Marvin Green Jr. Born October 16th, 1950. Passed over December the 10th, 2017. So my name is Roxanne. I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm reaching out to you because your fan base has requested me to. I hope you don't mind. You 
still have a lot of fans. It's been a little over three years. Michael misses you so horribly. Charles, you have a new granddaughter. Do you know about any of the things that are going on here on Earth? Charles, do you know about the pandemic? Charles, I want to ask you how you're doing. I'm sure you've been physically healed. Can you talk about that? Can you tell us how you feel? Charles, I can imagine that it's probably very difficult for you to verbalize what your life is like now. It's probably beyond what we can understand. But can you tell us anything? Just to let us know if we make connection. If we make connection with you, can you give us some names of some people you, that you're with? Some loved ones that, that might be recognized. have a message from Michael. You look in on him and his and, and the rest of your family. Charles, can you tell us what you do on the other side? How do you spend your time? What do you enjoy? Listen to music. Do you sleep? Does your spirit require rest? Do you eat? 
Just to enjoy the taste of food. Charles, have you been reunited with beloved pets who passed over? If so, can you name one of those pets? I want to know that I'm making a connection with you. Charles, can you let us know anything that would let me know or let us know that I'm making a connection with you? Oh, yeah. Michael misses you so much. Your fans miss you so much. Well, Charles, I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't wanna I don't wanna pester you anymore. I hope you've spoken true to us. So I'm going to say bye, but I want to thank you if you have spoken. Thank you so much. I want to uh, thank any other spirits who may have spoken true as well. We wish you peace and happiness, and goodbye now. Well, folks, what do you think? Do you think I made significant contact? Did you catch anything I missed? Let me know what you think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications of future Ghost Box sessions. Take care, be careful out there, and be good to each other.